Hi, my name is Lachlan Elia. I'm 21 years old and I'm soon to be an amateur MMA fighter. With a record of one and only. I am the premise, I said it, got an opinion, I am so ready. Don't need that book, already read it. Book of life, already get it. Talk about kids, already say it. Show no love, then get none. Oh. I was homeless, couldn't get one. Now I'm in the studio screaming out next one. Why do you want to do MMA? It, it's something that I've watched since, what, probably about 16, 17. I think I was probably 15 when I said to my dad at first, I said to him I want to do cage fighting, not knowing what MMA was. And then, but ever since then I've been obsessed, so I just thought I'd give it a go and just turned up to a training session one day. But the thing that made me train in it was, it got to probably about this time, probably about this time last year, I decided I was just gonna grab life by the balls and just do it. Simple as that. How are you feeling so far? Good. Fresh. Ready to get some more. Yeah? Well that was two, two four minute rounds. That was two minutes longer than my whole fight. Okay. Right there, so, and I'm ready to go again. Bring it on. How long have you been doing it for then? Training overall, about eight months now, since February. But in terms of my actual training, you're probably looking at being about a month in already. I know pros usually do eight week fight camps. I've gone and done 12, 16 weeks by the time I get there, so. I just want to make sure I'm super ready, super prepared, and I'm going for the win. Yeah. How did that sparring session feel today? It was good. I felt fresh, actually, to be fair. Yeah. I've had, to be fair, I'm coming off a few injuries, which I haven't been telling people because I don't want people to be like, oh, you can't train. The injuries are sort of coming to an end. I've still got, I think I broke my toe. It's not guaranteed, but it's still very sore, and it has been for like a month. My arm is just healing from, it was a pop when I was in an arm bar. It popped out. But today, yeah, I felt fresh. How do you guys feel about him doing MMA as a sport? He's wanted to do it for a very long time. I'm happy for him, and I think he's buzzing as well. Like, I'm honestly really excited to see how it goes down, because I think he's going to absolutely smash it. How does it feel watching Lachlan do a sport that is known as very violent? I feel like Lachlan's not a violent person, so to see him sort of do that kind of stuff, a surprise. So we're about six weeks out until your fight. Have you got any events from now up until your fight? One week today, is the British Nogi Sub Only Championships. Sub Only sets it apart from a normal Jiu Jitsu competition because usually in a Jiu Jitsu competition you get rated on points. This carries on going until someone taps out, so there's no stopping it until, until it's finished. And why are you competing in it? I signed, signed up to compete in this way before I knew I had a fight. This for me was for an experience of competing. I've never competed in anything in my life, so this is like my first experience of competing and that's why I'm doing it. Are you not scared about competing in this event so close to your first MMA fight? At the end of the day, if someone's got a submission locked on that's gonna put me in danger of being injured, I'm tapping out. The fight comes first. Are you nervous going into the event? No, I don't get nervous.
took took him a while to get me down. I was hoping I could get a throw in, but. <laughs> Is he about to ask you a question now? Nah, no, I can't. How do you feel? Good. Yeah? Sick, yeah. How do you think that went? Obviously, it didn't go the way I wanted it to go, but it's an experience and it's learning. And I know what I got caught with. That's, all, like, that's why I'm not that bothered, because it's not like it just happened and I didn't know what I was doing. I knew what I got caught with and I knew what I should have done and what I need to do next time. So They're not going to get in that position in the first place. So Lachlan's first experience in a uh, competitive combat sport didn't really go to plan. How do you think Lachlan will react to that? I honestly think Lachlan's going to use that as a sort of motivation or fuel because MMA is sort of one of those things where you can't really make those losses bring you down because it's not really professional to do that. It's sort of one of the things that you've got to just take, put your chin up and carry on. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be, to be fair. Hard work sparring him, but it's good. Go. So you know in, my, in the tournament earlier, yeah. he, he tried to get me in the same choke. And I used the defence that I missed by about a millimetre earlier. And it worked. Why do people do the sport if they're getting hit in the head still? Why do they still carry on doing it? It's just the thrill of it. It's the adrenaline. It's a mixture of an adrenaline rush and a love for the sport. And it's like, you're in the cage. And in your head, you're thinking, I'm doing it. I'm doing the thing. I watch people do this. I watch professionals do this. I watch my role models do this. Yeah. And you stood there and you're doing it. Whether you're getting hit, smashed about or not. That's just it. It's simple. I love it. What are your thoughts about Lachlan doing MMA? Yeah, I think everyone should be doing some sort of sport like that. I'm scared that you'll get hurt because it's completely different to boxing, I think, and I don't know, it just looks more aggressive. Well, it is, but it's still very, I think it's still very controlled and, you know, he loves it. Would you say you're proud of him then that he's doing a sport, he's, he's getting out there oh, instead God, yeah. of just staying yeah, indoors? Yeah, without that, yeah, yeah, definitely. Without I think he's going to do really well. Yeah, I've got no doubts that that is going to do well anyway. So. Do you think that the loss in the jiu-jitsu competition will affect his mindset going into this fight? I don't. I think anyone who does have fights and stuff like that has to lose to know where they've made mistakes. And I think his loss, he, he would have learned from that. People we work with, a lot of people have sort of taken the next day and oh, it's not going to go as you think it is. I honestly think nothing can stop Lockham right now. <laughs> S'il vous plaît, le GT, plaît les tombés. S'il vous plaît, le GT, tous les mots, les tombés. Mettez non, s'il vous plaît. Fille, s'il vous plaît. Arrêtez, mettez non, tous les mots, mettez non. Knowledge, use it. Future, choose it. Barrier, move it. Music, video, shoot it. Lyrics, write it. Passion, find it. Action, no violence. Be heard, don't be silent. Tell them I look, drop your knife, drop that and you drop. Drop your shank, pattern up by leaving the kitchen. Young black man to my beat in the system. Invest, open a business. On road, liberty, risk it. <laughs> Listen, everyone's gifted. Gonye, fizz on look. Le pay, fizz on look. Le pay, j'adore. Très bien, please d'accord. Gonye, fizz on look. Le pay, fizz on look. On our way to your fight, how are you feeling for your fight tonight? I'm feeling good, feeling sweet, just ready to go. I just want to get in there. Do you think it's excitement or nerves that you're feeling right now? I'd say probably more excited if I'm going to choose between the two. <laughs> Have you got anything to say to your opponent right now? I hope you're ready, dude. That's all i got to say to you. I hope you're ready for a war. I'm ready to come out of there hurting. I'm ready to bleed. Let's do this like a pro fight. That's all I'm saying. Let's treat it like a pro fight and treat it with the same consequences. Yeah, I can't see a 
Oh, there it is. Yeah. You alright, mate? How are you? Yeah, right, you laughing, yeah. Yeah? yeah, man. Yeah, ready sweet, for a good man. fight, yeah? Yeah, man. Ready. Good, bro. You fought before? Cool to it. No, not, not in the cage. They put on the thing that I had, but not in the cage. Yeah. Yet, so. I've done sparring and bits like that, but. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. Bro. It's a good play. What time are we on? I don't know yet. I ain't found out. I literally just come here and sat down. So I haven't got a clue yet, but hopefully it's not too late anyway. Yeah, I'll watch the rest of them as well. Get in, get it over, and we're going to go home. Cheers, too much. Good luck to you. How are you, mate? Yeah, it's time, bro. I always knew that part would be awkward. Good. Low work. We're going to go into retirement. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because it's never happened in a fight. Yeah, it's never It's just always when I'm just walking. That's what I just took one arm out instead of thinking I'm just I love for peace, but see, I don't attain. What I need for keeps to say.
Rockland Road. Let's go, man. Hold him, bro. Cheers, man. Thank you. Honestly, one of the best. Like the better fighters consistently compete. Yeah, yeah, you show it. You got it. The, the, the attitude, that's the perfect thing. Attitude, you obviously don't mind a scrap, man. Helps. <laughs> Training with you guys, that is. What can we up every day? <laughs> <laughs> that is a great day.